Pound US dollar popped on inflation number today. Can it hold the gains? If not, where's the trade? A very good evening to you traders. This is Mark. Welcome to your daily trading video. Okay, so cable popped today on uh, highest inflation for two years or something. I kind of given myself a little bit of a media blackout at the moment. Media blackout. I'm looking at the headlines. I'm seeing what's going on, but I'm a little bit fed up of the whole um, of the whole blasting of media, especially with the U.S. election. So I'm not digging into any of the reasons why. I'm just looking at the the, the broad headline and then just taking it as that. So. Um, what's actually happened with cable today? Well, let's go to an hourly chart on, on on the currencies. It's popped up and it's held the gains. Good on it. It, it. it deserved a little bit of a pop, didn't it? It's been hammered so badly, you know, needed a bit of a relief rally. And <laughs> the thing is, it's quite a good relief rally percentage-wise, but it's only really up above you know, two or three-day highs, which isn't really that bullish. I mean, I don't know what you what, what I would expect, but I suppose, guess that's a fair move for the for um for an inflation number that's beyond what it's higher than what's expected. But anyway, where's the trade? Okay, so I guess the level that we're looking at from the upside is going to be this. Now, I'm not really keen on buying long breakouts. Uh, in a heavy downtrend market I, that's a bit of a, a loser's game in my opinion I would much prefer to keep on the short side of thesis until I see otherwise with no disrespect to the pound of course but staying with the trend just makes a lot of sense and this trend is most definitely down so this is a one day pop up so what will happen let's just see so one of the things I always like to look for and um do you know what? More often than not, I don't get it. But if you see good news, the stock or the market or the currency lifts up. And then several days later, or the earlier the better, it comes down and it undoes all of that and then pushes through the price level it was at as the news came out. That is telling you who is in charge. Now, why do I like that so much? Because it traps everybody here everybody's confused saying when inflation's up surely the pound should be up this should be happening that should be happening no the price is king and if we ever get that situation i love that it's one of my favorite setups so of course i'm going to be looking for that's going to be my key level if in the next couple of days we trade under that after we've had this good numbers which we shouldn't be doing in a the theoretically while the economists will be looking at it going and the analysts saying this doesn't make any sense this is why it's such a good powerful setup if it happens then i will be looking for a uh, short place because if the bears are attacking this and the bulls can't get any traction after some good news especially when we're right at the lows then that will be the trade for me however you know the likelihood is we, we do push up push up maybe have a couple of day rally push up to highs maybe we test that 125 i don't know maybe maybe not it doesn't look that strong but it's feasible isn't it in the scheme of where we are it's feasible it wouldn't really do too much damage to the downtrend anyway if it did it so if we did that then i probably would prefer to take a short um let me get a horizontal line you know above that kind of level i'll look at it at 124 look at it above these highs here and just see how it responds if it pushes up and fails like an hourly or 15 minute comes back in then it's a short opportunity if it carries on running and the longs are, are making money out of it then that's absolutely fine by me i'm just not interested i'd rather look for it to push on three four five six days make it clear that it's perhaps a decent reversal then let it retrace and then look for a long so i, I kind of have to see a lot more price action develop before i'll flip my thesis from uh, short to long and vice versa and that may mean missing out on a week or two's worth of action but that's fine because i'm, I'm not specifically trading the pound us dollar uh, on its own anyway quickly going to run through in the last minute guys netflix was up 20 percent today blast out of earnings monster move i'm surprised it hasn't broken to highs actually as i was watching this today thinking we're probably going to get a breakout maybe we'll in the last hour or so or two hours we're coming up to that now it's, it's that sort of kind of pattern maybe a little dip just to trick a few people out and then we'll push up it's gone a bit quiet though to be fair to it okay earnings we have um in the uk let's pick out some of the big ones we have the manufacturer of silip bang good old wreck it they are coming out we have uh, rent a kill in the uk as well uh, not interested in those so much travis perkins i am interested in because they were one of the ones that got hammered quite a lot on brexit and it'll be interesting to see 
uh, what they say with their interim interim uh, management statement release. So we have some other miners not going to be interested in those. Let's go skip to the big ones in the US this week. I know we've got Morgan Stanley tomorrow. We also have eBay, American Express. On Thursday, we have sticking with the US. We have Amazon on Thursday. That is the big one that everyone is watching because the chart can do no wrong. It's just a really, really bullish chart chugging up. Everyone's expecting it to be absolutely fine and happy and, and there's no problem there at all. What I will do is I'm going to have a look at some of the option flow on uh, tomorrow and just see if anyone's starting to put some big options uh, prior to the Amazon uh, earnings release. Not that that's going to give us a heads up anyway, but it's kind of interesting to see how people are positioning uh, with large funds. So we've got Amazon, we have PayPal, as I say, and Schlumberger, E-Trade. Microsoft, uh, not so exciting these days as it used to be. And on Friday, we have General Electric. We have, ooh, picking up some of the big ones. That is about it. Maybe I've missed one, but I'm just scanning through a list on my other screen, possibly. So, okay, guys, I hope you had a great trading day today. Um, markets seem to be just sitting here. The stock market seems to be sitting. They've had a good update. day. FTSE's back above 7,000. Everyone's happy. But we you know we have these two days up, two days down, one day up, and it's very oscillatory, back and forth in a range. We need to get these U.S. elections going, and and I guess then we're going to break out of the range. But another video on that further. The, the video yesterday on Donald Trump winning the election. Uh, we'll do a Hillary Clinton and a run through some strategies as well as we come uh, closer to the election date. Hope you had a great trading day today, guys. Back with another video tomorrow. Take care.